Wintertime in Natal means sardines, followed by shad, also known as tailor or bluefish. A fair concentration of shad moves inshore and gets targeted every morning and late afternoon off popular points and bays along the whole south coast of Natal, and even certain areas on the north coast. With the shad comes bigger predators, like cop or also known as Mulloway, Garrick and several other species. We made a visit to Splash Rock down in Port Edward, the far south coast of Natal, and the preferred method was using a driftbait sardine, the quickest and easiest way not to get tangled in the crowds of fishermen targeting the same species. Okay guys, we hit Splash, and like I said, we're doing a bit of uh, Drift fishing, drift bait fishing. Just fishing a sword with a little bit of a weight. The sea is very strong, so you can go bigger on your weight. The stronger the sea, the flatter the sea, the smaller on the weight. You can fish a five. I prefer actually fishing a number seven piano wire with a 402 6 0 ring soy hook mustard and uh, just a swivel. And then I fish a piece of line, swivel, and the weight above that. And I also put a little float sometimes, uh, especially when the sun's out and stuff. You but just bit of a tractant on the bait and then obviously your quality swords play a role especially if there's a lot of guys on the on the rocks like this but it plays less of a role if you're fishing a drift bait what makes the drift bait fishing nice quick hook up rate okay when it hits you you can hit it a couple of times and you set the hook quicker and also the tangles are less when you're fishing in crowds like this a lot less tangles um, if you're fishing a drift bait where you, if you're fishing normal trace with a sinker it's just a lot of tangling happening um, obviously all these rock points this time of the year july august there's a lot of shad spots on the natal south coast which you can fish and get to and with a drift bait a little safari on your hip put your swords and your cotton in there a little scissor to cut your cotton off and you can stand right at the spot because when the shallops are shad move in like now it's quiet but when they're moving you have to go be quick to get the shad you want if you want four shad you have to jump in catch your shad and get out and that's why tangles is an issue and drift bait definitely one of the preferred methods of catching shad and making it easy for yourself you don't want to complicate your morning's fishing um, so drift bait just makes it a whole bunch easier the sea is too strong you might have to use a sinker um, but I wouldn't if there's a lot of anglers like this is already a mess they're knitting jerseys and everything which is normal in the in the shad run we can call it that every year and in between there were small shads and then a couple of nice decent sized shads uh, I've got three already and now everyone's off the rock here I should have a quick cast quickly and see for one last one but we'll see you guys and catch you guys later cheers There weren't a lot of shad around, but small patches came through. With a big ground swell, there was a lot of sand kicking up, and if you timed it right, you could get a bite. Waiting for the sand to settle, and then getting a cast into the cleaner water, produced bites. As the pockets came past, and the timing was right, you got a bite. And we called it the day as the wind picked up. Later the afternoon, I had a quick throw at Teo Strand, just north of Port Edward. The formation looked much better and the sea settled a bit with less sand kicking up, allowing a chance for maybe a cob or a garrick. In this case, I used my Dawa Saltus 12 foot 6 power spin and a fresh shad belly from the morning. Now this time of the year, there's also some Blu-rays around, which I knew there was a good possibility in hooking one. Blu-rays also favor red eye and sardine baits, sometimes combined with chocker, and a fairly good fighting fish, making out for real fun on lighter tackle.
it's, it's just a quick cast. Uh, well, hoping for some cop, put some uh, shared belly out, and uh, was rewarded with a with a nice uh, Blu-ray. This time of the year, you find them here on the south coast. The water finally turned nice. This whole week was over a three meter swell, which was horrible, and uh, it only turned night, nice midday today. So we're hoping for some good fishing today and tomorrow. The absolute great fun this on the 11 foot 6 Saltus power spin. Got my Max Seal 4000 and 20 pound J break. And uh, I had an 8 0 uh, red soy hook. This time of the year you can see they're pregnant. So you want to get them back in the water as quick as possible. Great fun. That was great fun on. Uh, Especially with this lip on the high tide, you guys could see I had to bring it all the way from the left to here where it's a bit flat and you can actually land it yourself. Great fun. My shad belly. I'm going to put it out again. <laughs> All in all, it's all about weather conditions and the sea conditions. And by timing it right, you can have great success in the winter months in Natal. 